video today's video is going to be lots of different stuff I don't know what yet but we're just gonna go with it I'm making oatmeal this morning for breakfast um, I got we got Brian and I got we just share a pea science order the vegan protein we've been out of it for too long like too many days and I was sad and now I'm happy because I get to have my vegan oatmeal and I'm really excited about it today I am doing podcasts all day so if you guys I know so many people in my influencer academy people messaging me on instagram people commenting on my posts and q a and stuff how can i be more time efficient batch your work so this week i had one full day of filming and one full day of podcasting and the other days i was just doing meetings and written work stuff like that so if you have the time on maybe a saturday or a sunday and maybe something's your side hustle or maybe you just have something to do and you feel like you're trying to get it done throughout the week and like trickling random minutes of work and then you get distracted do things like one specific kind of task in one day or one block of time because it makes your mind not have to switch tasks all the time and that just you lose energy and you get literally nothing done when you do that so biggest piece of advice for time management is batch out your work so i am podcasting all day in my new sweatpants i'll show you guys in a second i do a little haul in this video as well We have all of our spoons in the dishwasher. Okay, we'll eat oatmeal with the fork. That's fine. Yum. Cooper is eating my slipper and I got a couple packages in the mail. I'm going to a holiday party and I wanted to try on a couple of the dresses that I got. And then I also got a couple of things from American Eagle. Um, I saw Mariana Javarska wearing them on her Instagram and I was like, I need those. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what they are. Can you sit? Good boy, <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> oh. All right guys, so this is today's first one. This is um, a teal, it's really dark, really dark blue. It's not navy, it's like a teal, but this is a sweetheart neckline it's off the shoulder i love 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 off the shoulder dresses so much i don't know they're just flattering i like the length of it um it's kind of like that material that your grandma has on her table during thanksgiving or christmas or whatever but i really like it it's from lulu's and it's a size small i believe yes okay this is option one i feel like it's kind of like a samantha from sex in the city dress do you guys know what i mean like it's kind of older only because it's, everything's like covered up here and there's no cutouts or off the sleeveness, but it's a party in the back because there's this whole open back thing going on, which I love. Woo! And there's wings. I do like it. It's just, I think I would need like a long necklace and I put my hair up because I feel like it's just a lot here. I don't know. And this would only be for the holiday party on Thursday that I'm going to. What do you guys think? Let me know. Actually, you probably already saw it on my Instagram. <laughs> I already probably picked it, but these are the two options. We'll see. So I know it's dark, but these are American Eagle um, knit ribbed sweatpants joggers. And they, <laughs> they feel like heaven. All I do at home is live in this type of thing. And these are really comfortable. They're small and they're like, interestingly enough, baggy on my legs, which are massive. Not massive in like a bad way. like they're thick in a good way. I'm just surprised that small is loose, which is interesting to me. I love these so much. They are the comfiest things in the whole world. So shout out to American Eagle for making the comfiest sweatpants ever. And I did get another pair. I'm going to show you guys right now. These sweatpants are more comfortable. <laughs> these are better and they're not like the cutest, most flattering, but I'm not wearing them to be cute. I'm wearing them to be comfortable at home. I work from home. These feel like heaven. These are better than the other ones. I'll link them down below um, where I got them, like which brand they are and stuff. They're American Eagle again, and you can roll them down or you can have them up. I'll probably just keep them up here because high-waisted things are more flattering on my type of body. I love these. They're so comfortable. Brian, you'll be seeing, <laughs> you will be seeing me in these every single day. I'm so excited. Get that pattern. Right. Really fast. Really engage your hip here. 
I was 20 minutes late to this workout. That look good? <laughs> that look level? Look, 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 like that one's taller because I didn't put it in my Google Calendar. Nice one. You're gonna beat out, lock out. Three. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Lock out. Hold the plank. Five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> good job. Yes. Boom! Nice extension. Here we go. Extension, extension. And, 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 hop. That's the five you go straight through. And, 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 Seven. Six. The breathing is the same. Five. And four. Ha ha. Three. Ha ha. Two. Ha ha. One. Right. The look, 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 look. Like really good job. Exaggerate. Hold the breath. Hold it for like five seconds. Ha ha. Ha, 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 ha,
Ha! Ha! Five! Ha! Ha! Nine! Ha! Eight! Get lower! Ha! Ha! Seven! Ha! Ha! Six! Ha! Ha! Five! Ha! Ha! Four! Sit! Ha! Three! Sit back in two! Sit back in one! Nice! Right there is a great start. Even if your feet are on the ground, I'm okay with that. Right, look, just roll the shoulders back just a little bit more. Chest up. <laughs> up, okay. All right, one more time. Right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Woo. Okay, now. Ha, 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 three, ha, four, ha, five. Push it higher. Ha, six, ha. Push it, seven, yes. Ha, eight, nice work. Ha, nine. Ha, ten. Ha, eleven. Ha, twelve. Three more. Ha, two more. Ha, one. Nice. Ha, two. Ha, three. Sink back a little bit. Yes, four. There you go. Ha, yes, five. That was perfect. And six. I like that timing a bit. And seven, and eight, good, down, and nine, down, and 10, down, and 11, down, and 12, perfect, and 13, hip, 14, hip, 15, good. And it's a high knee, I want to really flex, flex the old knee, right here, high knee, good, high knee, high knee, good, high knee, four, Three, two, and just hold the plank. These five, four, three, hold tight, two, one. Higher though, get some air. Up and in. Up and in, out. Continue, don't stop. Don't stop the motion. That's it. Ten more. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. There's nine. Hold the plank. We'll be fit together. Jump it in. Hold there. Hold it. Give me one jump out, jump in. Jump out, jump in. Hold. Lock the hip in. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Staying open here. Two. Don't cave. Done. Thank you. Woo. You get for being late. Boom. <laughs> What's up guys? It is Saturday at 4.48 p.m. My friend Mike Delacour, you might have seen him in some older videos. I've been friends with this guy for like four years. When we first moved out to California, we both moved together. We didn't know each other, but we had a mutual friend and my friend was like, hey, you, you two should be friends. And then we were the only people we knew for a very long time. And he just graduated from chiropractic school. So if anybody's in the Long Beach area, um, Orange County area, look up Mike Delacourt. He is amazing. I love him and he's officially a doctor. So I'm so excited. Congratulations, Mike. It is now almost five. Brian's at the gym. Cooper is hanging out with me and he's eating stuff over there. And I'm honestly just like chilling. This is nice. This is really nice. I never, I feel like even on the days that I'm not doing anything, like today's rest day from the gym, not working or anything, 
sometimes I feel like I have to do something, but if you ever feel like you have to do something, the coolest thing to do is to do nothing and let your brain recharge. I think the biggest thing that I learned this year, there's so many things I learned this year, but the, one of the biggest things is that it's not resting, it's recharging. It's not like, I feel like resting can have a negative connotation and you could feel like resting is wasting time, but resting is actually necessary. Recharging is actually necessary for you to like have the energy to do what you're supposed to do the next couple of days. And I'm realizing that now that I've like organizing my work schedule from for a Monday through Friday. And I'm like, I get the weekends now. <laughs> it's been a while. I used to just be like a weekend warrior and work through the weekends. And it just feels really nice to rest and relax. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I think there was a couple, a lot of different things in this video. I want to ask you guys a question. Um, now that we have two separate YouTube channels, this one and the entrepreneurial one, the business one, I'm so thankful that a lot of you guys are excited about the new channel. Like I said, I'll still be doing updates and stuff on here and I'll just be updating you guys on like whatever is going on. Like this is the vlog channel, the personal channel. Sometimes that's like with what's going on in the businesses and sometimes it's what's going on with my fitness. Um, I wrote down what my fitness goals are for the year. And I think because I haven't had a fitness goal in about six months, I've been less apt to film, but, um, I think for the year, for at least till June, I think I would like to lose five pounds, not tracking or anything, um, and not doing anything super extreme, but I would like to do that. So I think I'm gonna go on a cut maybe in March or so um, for a vacation and not track. And then I would also like to get my squat back up, but I would like to get a three rep PR, not necessarily do a one rep max, just because I don't, the, the adaptations and the way that you have to train to hit a one rep max and to hit that lower, I guess it's a similar with a three rep max too, but I kind of want to keep things in like the higher intensity, not necessarily intensity, like the lower the rep, the higher the intensity, but I want to keep my workouts higher intensity. So I don't want to minimize my hit car cardio workouts just to get stronger, but I would love to get my strength back. So I'm starting a program in January and I'm really excited about it. And it's actually a program that I wrote for myself. I'm really, really hype about it and I haven't written a program in quite a while and I'm just excited to do it on my own. So I'll be taking you guys through that. But my question was that I'm excited to do these videos again and just be here on this fitness channel again. What do you like about my old videos that you would like to see again? Cause I'm really excited, like I said, and I wanna know what are the things that you miss and what would you stay here for? Like, what would you, what would make you excited to see here again? Because I would love to start recreating that. Like, I even watch my old videos and I'm like, damn, this was good. <laughs> like, this was a good video. Comment below, please let me know. Um, and let me know if you're gonna stick around because I'm gonna stick around for you guys. I'm not just gonna get up and leave you again. I know how sad that was and weird over the last few months, but let me know if you're gonna stick around because I'd love to have you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Catch you guys in the next video.